my lovelies. Good evening. It's Julie Ellender. Are you happy? Because I'm happy. I hope you guys are happy. Today I'm doing something a little experimental here. I cut the top of my egg crate off Eggland's Best and I decided I was going to try and make a stencil and I cut the sides off here so it was easy to draw, easy access here. Um, I tried doing an ivy on this side with some leaves and stuff like that, but it's I found it's kind of hard um, with something kind of that small and intricate to pop it out. So I'm gonna do something a little bit bigger over here and see if that is a little easier. So I'm just gonna do something pretty basic. Now, the pen I'm using here, it's a glaze pen. And I'm just gonna draw a simple flower. Okay, so now that I've got my flower drawn, I'm gonna take my X-Acto knife and try and cut this out. And I'll speed it up for you guys so you don't have to watch me do this in painstaking slow motion. Okay, so now I've got all the edges cut out here. I'm just gonna make one little tiny incision here because I see this part isn't cut all the way through. And you wanna make sure that it's cut all the way through um, so you don't have a, a hard time popping this out. So you can use it for your stencil. And it's not the prettiest flower in the world, but it doesn't have to be. Okay, we're gonna see how this works. Use this on a scratch page here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna lay that right there. And I'm just gonna spray. And there's my stencil. And depending on how hard you press with your pen when you actually draw it out, you might have a neat little stamp. Well, got sort of a stamp blotchy stamp. That's okay. Let's see. I don't know if you guys heard that. That was my child hollering in the background. Oh, that kind of, that's kind of neat looking. Yeah, see, I've, um, if I would have gone a little bit deeper, maybe with the pen, you could just use a ballpoint pen. Um, you can get some of the detail when you use ink or spray it. Let's try it with the ink. Just go ahead and use the pink one that I have. how this works. <gasps> oh, look at that. You guys can see that. It works. So now you guys can cheaply, very cheaply, make your own stamps and your own stencil out of egg crate. Oh, worked again. Woohoo! Well, that is rather nice. Quite surprised. I was worried it wasn't going to work the way that I wanted it to, but it did. I just wish that it wouldn't have been so difficult to cut out my intricate uh, ivy with the leaves on it. Oh, something else. You can also keep this part. 
Look at that. Ah! <laughs> so, it works. It works, it works, it works. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Quite tickled. I'm going to be using this stuff more often to create my own stamps and stencils. I've seen folks do something similar before where they carved out uh, with box cutters and stuff like that. They carved into styrofoam and made their own stamps, but I'm a little afraid of doing that. Uh, risk of cutting my fingers off. I need my fingers. I like them. They are mine and I would like to keep them. So this seems to be a bit on the safer side and it's really an easy way to keep your kids entertained as well. You know, make some stamps for them and give them a piece of paper and let them stamp away with your homemade stamps. So yeah, it made it a lot, it, it was a lot easier doing a bigger image than doing a more intricate one, I'd say. Keep it simple. The simpler, the better. Anyway, well you guys have a great evening. I'm gonna go see if I can't dig up some more styrofoam and make some more stamps. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later, bye.